Harry, Harry, this is Lord Potato, and this is What If Shinrai Has Special Generations, Part 3. So, uh, did I upload the What If? Fuck, uh, wait. Oh, shit, sure, I forgot to upload it. What If the was uploaded? Well, only 8 minutes long, and this is only gonna be also 8 minutes long, also. If I don't just like talk long, but let me shut up for a second and let me begin into this What If, okay? So we begin into Shinrai. Shinrai, uh, well, we go into Shinrai, who was kind of like in the bedroom, kind of healing up. Shinrai wakes up. He does like go talk to the lieutenant, that one lieutenant dude. And of course, this lieutenant is like saying, okay, so you're going to be under me. Ah, great. This is where, well, he looks at Shinrai and now his eyes. So when, what's it called, Captain Burner was right now fighting in Shinrai when he remembers, he tried to even use his, like, what's it called, like, sound wave to kind of, like, exterminate some of the heat waves that were actually smashing into uh, the lieutenants. When he tries to kind of, like, freeze it and all that, he couldn't actually freeze it. Like, when he actually managed to put some of the heat inside the trumpet and all that, it was, like, when it transformed into ice... It was already melting. It wasn't able to transform it into fully uh, ice, into cool air. The heat was to an extreme amount to actually understand why he had that much. This is where Shinrai looks at him and just says, what are you looking at? Is there something in my face? This is where, well, the person says, ah, no, nothing. Let's just go. This is where, well, he decides to bring Shinrai and Arthur along, but yeah, onto like a mission, but... There was a mission happening and all that. And of course, this is where, well, they go on this mission. And of course, this is where Arthur and Shinori are right now. Just protecting something. Just like walking around, protecting things and whatever. And of course, this is where they see a person transform into an inferno. Thanks to someone putting a bug inside them. This is where Shinori and Arthur kind of rushes towards it. And they only see is the lieutenant and the other lieutenant. Mostly the ice lieutenant and the star lieutenant. The star lieutenant saying, huh? Oh, hey, this is where, well, uh, Arthur says, hey, what, this is where, oh, uh, not Arthur, Shinrai kicked him right in the leg and says, hello there, Lieutenant. Uh, we just thought we saw someone come through here. That's all. <laughs> this is where, well, uh, they said, okay. This is where, well, both Arthur and Shinrai just walked away. Of course, they went to, later that day, to kind of go check in the Lieutenant office. This is where, well, when they went in, they found the bug. And that's where Shinrai, his eyes were right now boiling to rage, rage and madness. Because you see here, if this is the reason why people turn into infernos, infernos, then just Shinrai's eyes are just burning with nothing but pure murder and rage. This is where, well, when the person says, aha, so I see. This is where both Shinrai and Arthur turns around. Shinrai's eyes were nothing but a cold, murderous glare. This is where the lieutenant actually almost froze, like froze in his steps. Like he felt this murderous intent from Shinrai coming off of his body. Like his eyes. If Shinrai could like looks, he can kill. He wish he can kill with just looks. This is where, well, the lieutenant talks really fast to kind of like explain and why they went after him. He had a suspicion that they wanted to kind of look for those infernal transformations. He found out this bug and all that. And the the reason why there was only two of them in the alleyway, so like the original candidate to talk about it, that's where they think about the star dude being the one to actually transform people into infernos. Tokamaki is right now bringing a lot of children with the star dude, but yeah. This is where, well, the other two say, come on, let's hurry up. That's where Shinrai finally, he stopped murdering and like glaring at, well, the person. He isn't going to try to murder him, but instead he's going to murder the star dude. So, of course, they kind of, uh, Shinra is using his, uh, Dolo Burst to kind of, like, fly up and all that. And this is where, well, Arthur kind of asks him why, uh, Shinra wouldn't go into the fiery chicken. This is where Shinra says one thing. He can't. He doesn't actually know how he can actually do that. He doesn't understand how he can go into a human and then a phoenix. The reason why is because he never trained in the phoenix mode. So, of course, it's super confusing to him. So, of course, this is where, well... Arthur says, okay, sure, whatever. That's where Shinrai says, whatever, fuck off. Of course, they keep flying until they hear a burst of, well, as a car. Well, what's Arthur there? 
or not uh mostly shinro is flying and archer wants to just run but yeah this is where well they hear uh well mostly shinro hears a burst of screams saying someone please help this is where well the uh star does say sorry takamaki i was going to kill you and make your death an accident but he won't shut up goodbye <laughs> he has a fiery punch and this is where well what Takamaki sees from the sky is a devil. But this time, instead of seeing a devil of Shinrai, or Shinrai he, she sees a phoenix. This is where Shinrai is right now transforming his body into a phoenix to go faster and faster. Faster. No, I won't. This is where, well, his eyes were right now glowing into a tintish blue color. And right now, bursting of flames around him was bursting out. This is where, well, before the person can even punch a Maki, what Takamaki must say, uh... A phoenix leg smashes upon the star dude, right now crushing him to the ground. This is where, well, the only thing that transformed of what they call Shinra was mostly his arms transformed into, a, uh, well, the phoenix wing, mostly one of them, and another one transformed into the bird leg, mostly his right one. That's where he says, you bastard. He's not fully in berserk. It's like he can finally figure out how to transform Kind of willingly, but at the same time, unwillingly to transform into the phoenix. So, of course, this is where, well, Shinrai, he gets out of, well, the phoenix mode. Of course, his eyes transform back into red. And it's right now using his dollar purse. And this is where, when the star dude kind of woke up after a while, Takamaki says, Shinrai. This is where Shinrai's arms are kind of stinged and burned from the, what's it called, blue flames. Because his right arm and right leg were mostly transformed into a phoenix leg. But, of course, it's now being healed rapidly. This is where Shinrai says, are you okay, Tokamaki? Tokamaki says, yeah, I am. Thank you. This is where, well, Shinrai says, hey, you bastard. He points at, well, the star dude. The star dude says, huh? Uh, no, this is bad. You're here. <sighs> but I cannot let you be here. So you're going to have to die. He starts trying to punch at Shinrai. Shinrai is right now kneeling him in the face, kicking him in the face, punching him in the face. Kind of fighting him in hand to hand combat pretty damn easily. Takamaki can see this, and other kids are right now wiping their eyes on how strong Shinrai is. This is where, well, when everyone is seeing, well, what's it called, well, hiding behind Takamaki, this is where, well, Shinrai is kind of fighting against this person, and of course, this is where, well, he does manage to kind of like explode a burst of flames towards Shinrai, but Shinrai managed to dodge a little bit. This is where she, it did kind of hit Takamaki, and Takamaki was kind of. Her clothes were burnt, and this is where when Shinra was seeing this, he had kind of a blood nose. He's like, he still is kind of a pervert, but still kind of a little bit less motionless. He's emotionless, so about This is where, well, he's like, uh, this is where, well, uh, he kind of does a creepy grin, you know, a smile kind of perverted with nervousness and all that. This is where, well, Star Dude say, Star Punch! He punches Shinra, and of course, Shinra managed to kiss her in the cheek, and this is where Shinra say, oh, I'm sorry. This is where she say, Go! She kind of pushes him up just for him to kind of fight against Stardew. That's where she says, please, Shinrai, please knock him out. That's where she cries and this where Shinrai, for some reason, got a burst of, well, anger, but at the same time, burst of, he should do this. He should stop those who try to transform people into infernos. That's where he says, that's the promise I would do. This is where, well, he bursts into the Adola burst right now using the Adola burst, but right now exploding his hands into bluish flames saying, cremation burn hellish, rage. This is where he puts both of his hands right in front of, well, what the car, uh, the starter and the starter say, wait, what? Yeah, smashes into the pillar. This is where Shinrai says, you bastard, I won't, no, I will defeat you. This is where... When Shinrai was trying to get faster, his legs right now, the fire around the Adola burst kind of was mixed with the cremation burn flames, of course, turning them into purple flames. This is where Shinrai starts kicking the shit out of, well, the star dude, and right now, beating his ass pretty easily. It's where, well, the dude said, I won't give up. This is where Shinrai says, you will. Shinrai grabs him from the head and then just exploded his feet with purplish flames right now hitting this person right in the face. This is where this person gets knocked out, but this is where he got frozen he, because he tries to explode himself after kind of doing this unconsciously. This is where, oh, the ice dude says, are you okay, Shinrai? Shinrai says, I am okay. 
It's where I, well, uh, Shinrai kind of goes to Tokamaki, and of course, takes off his, like, orange kind of coat and all that, and of course, puts on Tokamaki and says, are you okay, Tokamaki? Tokamaki says, yeah, 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 her face was nothing but pink. It's where, well, Shinrai kind of felt like there was a feeling, a very terrible, uh, terrible feeling about it happening. This is where Shinra kind of grabs Tokamaki, brighter side, and kind of jumps out of the way. An arrow pierces through the person, mostly the star dude, and of course, this is where, well, the other lieutenant's whiner. Alright, this is where one does loses his arm after a while, and this is where he says, No! Oh, this is where, well, Tokamaki is told by, by her lieutenant to kind of use her fire tail to kind of like try to point, uh, point out the edges and all that. This is where, well, well mostly where they'll be at. This is where, well, Shinra is right now looking towards where they will be at. And of course, this is where, well, they, uh, Shinra says they are gone already. This is where, well, Shinra wanted to go after them, but he couldn't because, well, the, what's it called, purple flames did take a large tone on his body. It's like if he, when he was using them in the beginning to kind of save Tokamaki, Archer, and even those two unconscious when he was fighting against, uh, what's it called, well, uh, Joker, it wasn't too much of a tone because he was still kind of fusing them together with cremation and, well, his Adola burst. But now when he was using them to fight against, well, what's it called? A star dude, he actually managed to master them, but of course only managed to kind of land like two hits upon this person until his oxygen match run out. Until that dude kind of froze him, but yeah. Of course, that's where Shinra was passing out, but yeah. That's where, well, uh, they found out to, uh, about the kind of white cloak figures, and of course, figuring out that Shinra is in a dollar burst. Yeah. Wait, was it there? Mm, yeah, it was there when they figured out he's in a dollar burst, but yeah. Or mostly Joker told him? Yeah, Joker did tell him. But yeah. But you know what? I'm gonna leave it off here for, well, part three, because now I'm just gonna have to leave, uh, well, go, because it's now. 4.30, but yeah, other than that, have a nice potato day, potato night, potato day, potato day, and good night, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.